Hey guys, Northeast Survival and Preparedness here. Well, I'm going to do another video on New York State compliance with the SAFE Act. And actually it's compliance with the assault weapon ban that was in place since 2004. And beyond actually, it includes uh, up to 1994. This is uh, something you've had to do here in New York for the past almost, what are we talking here, decade? So... Bayonet lugs. They are the easiest thing to get your rifle into compliance with. And uh, they're one of the ones that, you know, I get a lot of questions about. A lot of people ask me, how do you take it off? What should I do? And I wanted to do a video about that. And to show you a real easy, simple way to do it. Very basic tools. And it's going to be two parts. I'm going to do one part today about actually getting the lug off. And then I'm going to do a second part about bluing the exposed steel. Um, so let's talk about the uh, big white elephant in the room, guys. The New York Safe, Safe Act. Um, every time I do one of these videos about compliance, it's a guarantee that I'm going to get threatening emails, comments, people saying, oh, you're a piece of shit, you're a traitor, you should never comply with these laws, yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, for the most part, I try to let it slide off my back. But to those people who are angrily trying to type a comment right now. I just want to say before we get into this video, and if this you're not inter interested, just skip ahead. Um, there are people in New York who do not own AR-15s right now, but they want to, and they want to build them. And this com these compliance videos are for these people who want to do this, who want to build them, who want to own them. It's for the people who don't want to register, but want to be able to publicly use their firearm. For some people, like for example, people who shoot in competitions, hiding their gun away is not an option. There are people out there who have thousands of dollars invested into their ARs. They shoot regularly, they shoot in competitions. They're not gonna hide these guns in a closet and stop shooting for five, six years until the Supreme Court throws this thing out. It's just not gonna happen. These people are going to comply. They're either going to register or they're going to modify their rifle. And that's fine. You know, whatever your individual choice is, is fine. But there are people out there who want this information, who want help making their rifles compliant. And this is for them. I'm not advocating compliance. I'm not advocating anything other than I want people to have the information and know how to do this stuff. So if they choose to do it, they can do it. So... Guys, if you want to send me messages about what kind of a piece of shit I am, go for it. You know, I really don't care, you know, especially because most of you don't even live in this state and you have no clue what you're talking about anyway. And, you know, I don't care. We got to do what we got to do. And there ain't a one of you who's going to pay my mortgage if I get arrested. So whatever, guys. So sorry about the rant. Here we go. This is how simple getting a bayonet lug off is. Let me zoom out here. See this? This is one of those $5 Bucks Brothers hacksaws. You can get these at pretty much any hardware store. And uh, what makes these things so easy to do this with? Number one, they come with a fairly decent blade that will work with metal. But you can set the angle of the blade at an angle. Because when you're dealing with the uh, bayonet log, I don't like to cut them from the front because we're going to zoom in here, hopefully. You can see there's this little gap here in the front. This little gap makes it tough to get a hacksaw in, even if it, with an angle, it's tough to get it in and get around there. So I like to cut it from the back. So if you're going to cut it from the back, you need a hacksaw that you can get in there at an angle like this. Hopefully it's showing. So then you can see how that's working, guys. Now, I can't do this whole thing like this. A, we're not staying on camera. And B, uh, the angle's really crummy to do this. So I've already started this. And as you can see, I've already kind of scored. Oop. And one of the good thing, too, guys, tape your, uh, your swivel down if you're going to be doing this so it's out of your way. I've already started this. There's a little bit of a, 
you know, I kind of scored it, went real slow and started scoring it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about half of this and come back and show you. Oops, sorry, <laughs> it's real crummy camera work here. And then uh, I'm going to show you when the uh, project is finished. But just wanted to show you how I'm going to be doing it. Just very simple. Bucks Brothers saw. Set it at the angle. And just nice and smooth. So, there you go, guys. Crummy camera work, I'm sorry, but we're going to go and get this project going, and uh, I'll be back in Hey, guys. Wanted to show you the progress. This is about five minutes of cutting. Whoops. Sorry, guys. And tell you, this would be way easier, guys. I would do this in my garage, but uh, there's no way you'd be able to see with the lighting in there. But as you can see, I'm already halfway through the bayonet lug after literally five minutes of cutting. You see, it's not perfectly 100% straight, but that's okay. You know, it's gonna. I'm gonna fix it up with a file when we're done and uh, clean it up, and we'll show you how that works. Just wanted to show you the progress and literally. Five minutes with a five dollar saw. So that's him. Okay, guys, we are through. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath too. Hey, holy cow, it's actually a little tough. So we've broken the piece off. That last little bit. As you can see, this is hot. I can't believe how hot this sucker got. So you may want to throw a little cool water on there. So next, as you can see, there's a little bit of material left over. So now we're going to cut that little piece off. As you can see it right here at the end. There you can see the space there. So now we're going to cut that little tiny piece off. And then we're going to work on uh, filing up this bottom a little bit. Rounding it off a little. And then uh, throw a little sandpaper on it. And then tomorrow we're going to blue it. So let me finish up this last little bit. And we'll get back. Okay, guys, we are done. This bayonet lug is off. As you can see, we have nice shiny steel here that we're going to have to blue, and we will do tomorrow. As you can see, we're going to have to blue anyway because I did scuff up the uh, barrel a little bit doing this. But uh, overall, you can see it's a little uneven, but we're going to fix that up with some files. And uh, all I'm going to use for the files, guys, guess what? Nothing fancy. These, uh, Pretty much, they're just cheap, like $5 Harbor Freight little uh, files. I'm going to clean this up. And, uh, you know, guys, this would have been a much smoother project in a bench with a Dremel. But, you know, if you just have $5, you can buy one of those little uh, Buck Brothers uh, cheap saws. Go through this in about 10 minutes, clean it up with a file and blew it. And you've got uh, compliance in 10 minutes, even if you're not an expert and clumsy and bad at these things like I am so just wanted to share and uh, show you how easy it uh, it is